this is uh, the issue of Keisho that, that uh, includes the first of the two-part roundtable, the, uh, the signs of discourse on, di gosh, I seem to have typed this wrong, direct action concerning one event. Um, note to self. Okay. Um, and, and of course, you know, the, we've, we've got the duplication of the, uh, the Amanote event invitation here. Um, and here's Nakanishi in, in the discussion talking about the equipment plan, talking about the guillotine project, because Imaizumi, after having failed to do it, wrote it up as this, as this kind of uh, sort of provocative little literary piece in an earlier issue of Keisho. <clears throat> and this is Nakanishi responding to the suggestion that you know, it, it became literary. It was, the equipment plan, it wasn't a plan for actually putting a plan into operation, but rather, once it had failed, was just a proposal tidying things up. If you don't do it, it's worthless. That is, if you don't do it, it doesn't have a bit of meaning. I think that no matter how liter literarily magnificent you say the plan is, it's just meaningless in the end. Without having put together a logic of action for a plan to be actualized, it's pointless for the equipment plan to set forth something like, like a confession. Rather than a logic for putting one's life on the line for action, it began and ended as a self-question and answer to the notion that this is what we're about to do. No date for an incident in the space of actuality. All that's there is a date for that mental state, some day and month in 1962. The wreck of an action unexpectedly went and became literary, in an abstract space. In such a case, Freud's description of the artistic act as the libido sublimation still suits. I, 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 I take these artists' words seriously. I mean, I, I really want to, in, in trying to capture what they're, what they're doing, I think it, it, it behooves us to, to listen to how they're conceiving of it. Um, and part of, part of this, this discussion, I think, is, is these artists coming together, some of whom participated in these events, some of whom uh, did not have sort of heard about them. They have the status of rumor already. This is, you know, months after both of these events or non-events. Um, and, and trying to think about their practice and reorient their practice in a, in a more adequate way, make it, make it more effective. <clears throat> so here's, here's Nakanishi talking about his, his, his OJ. The, the term portable OJ refers to things where you can grasp movement, handily portable things. I want to make an OJ that within the space of daily life, and not in some art museum or the like, that within the space of daily life would be caressed, reeled in and out. I thought about trying to emerge from structures by making mobile OJ. Mobile means that there's an energy within the object itself. So it starts at first from your own work. In my case, a kind of exhibition art, really. However, I tried to progressively break out of that and began to make portable loge. That was my starting point. This is, and this is actually, I think, something that's happening quite a bit with, with Yomiuri artists at the time, trying to get out of the museum spaces, out into uh, an everyday life that their works themselves are, have been trying to engage with and, and are even you know, constituted by, by the debris that they're working on. Um, this is a... <clears throat> Fountain is is a, a a big deal, and of course the '60s witnesses the rediscovery of Duchamp and and uh, uh, maybe even his 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 construction um, as an icon. Um, uh, this is uh, the the urinals uh, at at, at, at Wasada during a a festival put on by an, an inter interesting performance group called the League of Criminals. Um, and uh, Nakanishi's maneuver for this was to put on a lab coat and white face mask when he's painting these things. He was actually captured or, or caught by a, a student organizer and, and explained to them, oh, yes, this is a, this is a sanitation. So he's painting. The, I wish that this was a color photo. This is a red. Um, genius uh, student organizer, I guess. Um, uh, okay. Um, how are we doing for time here? Kind of blowing through an awful lot of it. 
107. Okay, maybe just really quick um, uh, and on, on, on group group on Gaku or the music group. This is, by the way, a translation I'm trying to push. I can talk about why I think that's right. Um, but people that I think you you may or may not you may be familiar with. Uh, Tone, of course, lives in New York, mm -hmm. and uh, and Kosugi, of course, and, and uh, Mizuno is, is is in Tokyo. But the, uh, um, I I know of uh, Chiago's uh, photo up there. Um, anyway, when they uh, came out uh, with with their uh, uh, this is the the issue that introduced the group or group quote music. Um, they had this very interesting event. Um, here we have, uh, well, the map of the Tokyo Highway System. Um, this is uh, from a, a, a band book. Um, and a later page is the, the image of the thousand yen note that, that gets Akasagawa prosecuted. Um, well, this is the, the highway system being built in Tokyo. And at the time of the demonstrations, um, Group music, this improvisational, experimental music group, uh, uh, according to Tone, climbed in a van and went driving around, driving around some of the streets nearby and onto the, the highway system, doing this improvisational music performance in a closed van on the highway, heard by, uh, well, uh, and 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 later, uh, Tone uh, and Kosugi uh, also took part in this performance. We do not have photos of this, and in fact, uh, uh, despite uh, according to Tone, they they started in Ikebukuro, and they were going to head this way, and they were going to join up with the group. Um, and um, and Kosugi said, "No, no, it never happened. Um, he's he's actually had." He may have had a stroke or some some medical event, and uh, um, but I have some contemporary places where uh, 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 recollections where he does agree that it, it, it happened anyway. Uh, we have, we have a non-event uh, with no f photography of them uh, moving uh, along the line with uh, some portable tape recorders and recording noises and playing the back. Maybe <laughs> um, again <laughs> we have the reportability problem, but... Um, uh, I'm sorry, just yeah. to clarify, so they were supposed to meet up near Ikebukuro, but since they got off it, they, no, no. That's right, that's right. Um, so they just began without without the group, and I think they were I think they were supposed to go around and, and meet up with them, catch up to them, Right. Um, but the group had departed at Ueno, so it, they, I think they went around the whole thing, and then we're done. Um, so the only evidence that you have are kind of often self-contradictory words by the artists. That's right. Who's supposed to be <laughs> participative, right? That's right. Um, so how do you collect that? Um, but then again, how do you make sense of a musical performance that could be heard by no one? Well, except for the performers. Um, and, you know, I, I, I wrote a little bit about, about that in this in, in, in this piece, and it has to do with the self-conceptions of the artists themselves and the importance of the improvisational music that they're doing and, and the way in which it engaged with some, some sort of Jungian ideas about collective unconsciousness and, and that at that point in their artistic practice, it made perfect sense for them to be traveling around near this thing unheard but yet playing, that that somehow would do something. Um, so, you know, we, we, can, we can say it's, it's, it's strange or silly or, or what have you, but that doesn't really give us much window into actually what the artists are doing. And so, for, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in that. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's unclear to me which is more significant. Um, this is this is fun and all, um, but the uh, the security treaty is renewed, and these demonstrators go away. 
and whereas the the artists are part of uh, a, a a transformation in in practice and consciousness that I think anticipates a lot of exciting stuff that happens at the end of the '60s or towards the end of the '60s in Japan. So, you know, event and eventfulness, which is the more significant one? So why don't I why don't I stop here? I've I've got a, a zillion more things, but uh, yeah.